Hey everyone, what is up? I am your host Chris, K-R-I-S, and yesterday the Nintendo Switch was announced. Uh, Nintendo's NX got an official name, it was released, well, the information was released, has a 2017 March release. Maybe it'll be 2017, 17th March release, St. Patrick's Day, I think that would be a great day for everybody. <laughs> you get drunk, you spend a bunch of money buying the, the new Nintendo system, you instantly regret it when you go home. No, I'm just kidding. I personally think... Of the limited information that we have, I got a pimple right there, man. Look at that. Look at that. You see, it's bursted. I burst the shit out of it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't even care. I'm not going to hide it because I'm a man. Yeah, manly man. I, don't, I got no neck. <laughs> no, uh, I personally think that the Nintendo Switch, minus the name and the controllers, is... I think it has a lot of potential. I honestly think it's going to be a pretty great system. I am not a Nintendo person normally, but looking at this, I do have interest. Uh, looking at the leaked specs of it, it seems that it has 4 gigabyte RAM. It, I forget what the fucking graphics card is going to be. It's probably going to be, out, I think it's outputting at about 720p. And it has 32 gigabytes of storage. And uh, one or two other things. Now, a lot of people, especially people that like strong hardware, they're going to be like, Oh, that sounds terrible. It's not going to sell. Actually, it seems like they're combining a home system with a mobile system, like a, a handheld. And I, I see a lot of uh, positivity and potential for great sales from that. Because it's going to be at 720p, because it has 4 gigabytes of RAM, it's not going to be, like, extremely expensive. It's going to be able to come out at cheaper price than the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. And I mean like the current prices. It's probably going to be under 350 If it's anything more than that, I will be on the bandwagon going, What the hell are they thinking? But um, as it stands with the information we have, I think it's going to be relatively cheap. And I see, I see this system having a lot of uh, fun titles in the future. It's going to be very cool to be able to play on your TV the way you want to. And then if you want to go into the living room or go to a friend's house or something, as the ad showed, you can just pick up the, the screen and walk off with it. Now, I am someone that doesn't like Nintendo handheld, uh, what are they called? Controllers, there we go. I, I don't think I've ever played a Nintendo system where I liked the controller. And from the looks of it, this doesn't look any different. Those little things... I don't think I'll ever be able to play like a Del May Cry game on that system without flipping my, my, my tables over and uh, rage quitting. But the ad did show somebody holding a traditional black controller. So that's probably going to be sold separately like the classic Wii controller which was like 18 euro or something. And uh, uh, I used that for my Resident Evil games and stuff. So if that is the case and it's it's nice, you know the buttons are in a nice location and the fucking sticks aren't everywhere around the place, then uh, I, I I'm gonna be pretty happy with that. Uh, some people have compared the new NX, the Nintendo Switch. I really think that's a bad name. Uh, with the uh, Ouya from like two years ago, the you know the little system that came out for like a hundred dollars, a hundred euro, and disappeared day one. Nobody ever bought it. Nobody ever gave a crap about it. It does look kind of similar to that. It does look very cheap plastic. It looks like a system that uh, was built on a budget. And Nintendo are known for that, by the way. They they always release weaker hardware and try to innovate. But it it does look it does look flimsy. But I'm not someone who cares too much with the way something looks. It's how it works and what you can do with it that matters. So I don't care for how it looks. I'm not even gonna look like people compare or pe people complain about the way things look way too much. As soon as you get the system, you burn it on your desk, you're not going to look at it ever again. Especially in a day and age where we download all our games, you know, you're not even opening the bloody thing to buy a disc in these days. And that leads me to my other point, they're using cartridges like the, the um, what, I think the DS, the legit DS, I use an emulator. Uh, that's that's fine. I just hope that they have enough space because looking at, looking at Mario or Zelda, it's, it's going to be very artistically styling and seeing something like that in 720p will be gorgeous and even more so if you have a nice draw distance and you see all the beautiful mountain sides and stuff. So I'm, hope, I'm hoping it comes out okay. I do have a lot of faith in this system. I thought the Wii U was a failure from day one and it turned out to be. But uh, I'm hoping my good predictions continue with this one. Uh, will I get it? I am not sure. I am not a Mario fan. I, I, 
I feel like Nintendo's sales these days are relying a lot on nostalgia like uh, Mario and Zelda and stuff and if you didn't grow up with that you probably don't care too much about Nintendo systems because they're kind of like their their mainstays you don't create a lot of new IPs that often we're going to be we're still going to get Mario 10 years from now 20 years from now so um, if you didn't grow up with that like I have no interest in Mario I have no interest in Zelda but uh, if they get if they get some good games some good exclusives or some really good third party games in general as, as well as some uh, great first party then maybe maybe and that makes me want to ask the question will we get a legit Game Freak made Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch both Game Freak and Nintendo have been making excuses not to put a legit game onto their home systems for a long time now saying things like well Pokemon means pocket monster you want to be able to take it around with you the whole the whole reason the essence of Pokemon is mobile well now you can do that now you can do that in 720p what's your excuse and I, I just hope that we we can get a legit Pokemon game made by them on the system and if it can I'm telling you day one day one that that fucking console is gonna go off the shelves if you get a legit Pokemon game on the NX on the switch Jesus I, I'll probably get it I will probably get it it has to be under 350 it has to be under 350. It will sum up things. Under 350. Uh, talk about a legit Pokemon game. I don't know why I'm doing my fingers. That new Zelda game with the, the, the painted looking graphics and shit that they were showing in the video. That looks awesome. I never played Zelda. I do plan on doing it soon. But that looks awesome. And uh, I think good third party support. They showed a list of developers that are talking about third party. And I think that has a lot of potential too. So I'm looking forward to that. And I, I think I think that's that's it. You know, it's just it's just me with the very limited information we have right now as a, a as a consumer, just reacting to what we could have in the future. And I honestly think there's going to be a lot of of bright futures for the people at Nintendo. Just just calling it out there. It's going to be a good future. All right. So I'll talk to you all later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can click on the link below to lead to my Patreon to help support the channel and me and whatever. And uh, have a nice day. Yeah, the, the, the second head says goodbye. See, look at that. I, I, look at that. Ow, ow. Bye. <laughs>